Hey everyone, it's Selena here. I just wanted to do a quick tutorial on downloading the Starbucks logo from the festysite.com website. So this is the site here and at the bottom you will see that you can change it from Starbucks coffee to whatever you want it to say. And in this case I'm just going to put my name and I'm going to leave the coffee part alone. I'm going to click on preview and you'll see it change with my name. Then I'm going to click download. And when I download this it's going to give me a PNG file and the PNG file I can use in design space by using the basic upload. So I'm going to go ahead and download this to my computer. Just make sure that you remember exactly where you saved it. I'm just going to save it in my documents under Cricut. Actually, I have it saved already, but there, there it is. And now let's move over to Design Space. So here in Design Space, I'm going to choose Upload Image, Basic Upload. And I'm going to give you a couple of examples on whether you want to upload it to print and then cut or if you want to upload it for a layering project like vinyl. Um, I can easily convert this into an SVG if I wanted to have two colors to have the green and the black. Um, but if you're not familiar with Inkscape or how to convert uh, files to SVGs, you can easily do it in design space because it's just two colors so I'll show you how to do that. So for the first example I'm going to do a print then cut. So I'm going to upload that and I'm going to choose it is a basic image because there's not very many colors going on but I'm going to choose complex images so that my colors are nice and bright and everything's crisp. Let me zoom out. Okay, so this is how the image pulled in. As you can see, there's a white square around the logo, and there's also this little R there, which I don't want to print this white square, and I don't want to print the little R. So if I select the I, this is going to show me the preview of my cut, and you can see it's a red square. So if I didn't do anything to this image, and I went ahead and continued to the next step, when I go into my mat, it's going to be a square with the image, so it will cut as a square. So in order to get rid of the square, I'm going to use this, select and delete, or as it looks like a magic wand, and I'm going to click on that white square, and as you can see it deleted. So I can go back to my preview, and you can see there's just a circle. You see this little bitty circle here is for the, the little R. I'm going to take my eraser tool, and I can make the size a little bit bigger and right on top of that just click there and that's gone. So I'm ready to continue to the next step. This is automatically defaulted. Remember that if you're going to be cutting only and if you don't need any printing done you can go ahead and uncheck that because if you leave it checked you could still change it to cut in your mat you'll just have to go through a couple of steps to do that and that's where I see that people get confused um, thinking that they can't use their image because they think it's only a printable image when in fact you can change it and I'll show you in the next step on how to do that um, but I'm gonna leave it checked because I do want to print this and cut it so let's go on to the next step so I saved it it's now in my uploaded images so I'm gonna check that and pull it into my mat and here it is and let's use our set canvas because I'm going to put it on a mug so I'm going to go under glassware and it automatically defaults to a mug you can change the size of the mug if you have a larger mug um, but I'm going to leave it just as the way it is so I'm going to size it here and I think that looks good. I'm going to bring over my layers panel 
And as you can see, it's one layer, it's in color, and it has the print icon. Now, if at this point you realize, I don't want to print it, I need to have it in vinyl, then you will need to upload it again. Because if I choose to, to uh, cut this image, I will need to select unflatten. Now I could select this um, layer and change to cut. But as you can see, when you change to cut, it changes to gray and there's just nothing there. You're going to cut out a circle. Now the reason why we need to go back and upload it again is because, let's go back, because in Design Space we need to take out all the white areas in order for there to be cut lines there. So let's go back. Take away that circle, let's take away that R, go back to the magic wand. Now I'm going to click on all the white areas, the white area around here, the white area here, inside the mermaid, in her face, zoom in a little bit closer, click right in her eyelids so you get all that detail. All the letters, the stars, everything that is white I'm getting rid of because I want all of that to cut out. Okay, so now you're going to click on the eye and now you see all the cut marks. So we're going to continue to the next step. I'm going to uncheck this one because I really don't need it checked. I'm not printing. I'm going to cut this with vinyl. And as you can see, it's black. Anything that you upload and it's going to be a cut image that you've uploaded using a basic upload will always turn your image black. If you upload a vector file, which is an SVG, if it is a colored file, it will upload as a colored file, just like this one here. I created this earlier today, and if you're interested in this little baby girl monkey, you can get her for free on my website, which is twoheartsonelovedesigns.weebly.com. You can also find it on my Facebook page. Um, so back to this, I'm going to insert this image. And as you can see, this is going to cut out, if I go to my cut preview mat, you're going to see that it's, that's just the way it's going to cut. Now, let's say you want to cut it out in vinyl, but you want to do it in two colors. Um, and, and going back here, if you wanted to do it in all green, really this is just for your eyes. It's not like, a, it's just for you to know what color to put on your mat. Um, so that's for you to decide on, on what you use. But let's say I wanted to do two, two colors with vinyl. You know, I want it to look exactly like the Starbucks logo. So I want this part here um, to be green and the inside to be black. There's two ways to do that. Now with this particular image, it's pretty easy for me to show you the second way because it's a circle. Um, so let me actually show you that first since we're here in this screen. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to cut out this middle part with just using a basic circle. So I'm going to go into Insert Images. I'm going to search and um, Design Space for a circle. Just use a basic circle with one layer. Now, when using the slice tool, you need to make sure that the image that you're using to to cut is one layer and the image that you're cutting is one layer. 
because if this had a shadow or if this had a shadow or if it was grouped with anything, it won't let you slice it. So you have to make sure that you ungroup everything. This one here actually has another, it has a layer, sh um, a shadow layer, excuse me, but it is hidden. So you don't need to delete it. It's, it's not there, so it will work. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make this bigger just so that I can make sure that I'm inside that circle. I'm just going to size this circle right over that mermaid, but, but not too far off. You want to be inside the circle, but make sure that you have the entire mermaid covered. So that looks good. So I have my circle selected, and then I'm going to hold down my shift key, and I'm going to select the Starbucks logo. You can see they're both, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to click off of that again. As you can see, all my tools are grayed out. Well, some of them are, especially the slice tool. But when you see that I select the second image, now my slice tool is available. So I'm going to click slice. And there will be some color change. You know, it looks like my circle went away, but what it did, it, it cut it out. This is the image that I want. This is the image I don't want. So I'm going to delete that just so that I don't get confused. Okay, now I have my two layers. And you can go up here, change it to black. And there you go. There are your two layers. That's one way to do it. And the way to, the normal way to do it, um, you can create different layers by uploading your image depending on how many colors and layers that you want. So in this example, I would upload this file twice. So I would delete all the white. Oops. I, I deleted something I didn't want to, so I'm going to click undo. So I'm going to delete everything that's white. And as you can see, depending on what you're working with, cleaning up images in Design Space is possible. Um, it's if you know if you want to do different layers, and I only suggest this if it's a simple. If it's a simple image, um, or if you don't know how to create an SVG, it is very possible. It's just very time consuming. So the first way that I just showed you that I sliced out that middle part, that's an easier way and faster way than the way I'm going to show you right now. Okay, so I have all the white areas deleted. So for this image, I'm going to delete all of the black part. So I would just take my eraser tool and I can use my magic wand and take all the little pieces away. But as you can see, I still have these lines here. So I'm going to have to go back and delete that. So I don't even use my magic wand for that. I just use the eraser, size it, and you just have to be, you know, pretty steady handed. Just take your time, make sure that you delete what you need to delete and be careful with the edges. Remember if you delete something by accident, just you can always undo. So there's the first layer, okay? So I'm going to continue. I'm going to uncheck this because I'm not printing it. I'm going to name it Starbucks One Layer. Save. And I'm going to go back and upload it one more time. But this time, I'm deleting everything but the mermaid. Okay, so make sure you got all your, your uh, white areas deleted. And in this case, I'm not going to click through all of this. I'm just erasing the entire thing. You can even use your crop tool. This crop tool here, you just select the area that you want to keep and it'll delete everything around it. So that helped me out a little bit. I'm going to zoom out. 
get my eraser tool, size it a little bit bigger, and just delete all the green and white around the mermaid. the uh, preview you can see I have a little spot here and you can see that I haven't cleaned up her eyelids I have some spots here go back get rid of those little spots use the magic wand clean up her eyelids check that out again everything looks good on to the next step uncheck this because I'm not printing and this is layer two okay I'm ready to upload those two images there's layer two layer one insert now these you have to kind of play with because they don't upload in the right sizes but stretch that out change that to green and then same thing for this one let's bring this to the front so I can size it better and then just kind of fit it in the middle gotta change that green that's not the right green All right, so there's the two ways for you to upload, or actually three ways. One, to upload if you're gonna use like a printable vinyl. So you would just delete the square, the white around it and the little R uh, brown symbol. That's the first way. The second way was for me to just upload, uh, making sure all the white areas are deleted, upload it one time use the slice tool to slice this middle part out then I change my colors or to upload the image twice clean up all the white areas clean up that middle area this was my layer one and then I cleaned up all of this around the second layer and this is my layer two so hopefully that made sense to you if you have any questions, please leave me comments in my um, thread and I will try to answer them. Thanks. Have a good night.